What's up guys? Welcome back to Meg Plays. Today we are here and we are going to play Superpower Training Simulator. So we are here to train to be the best superhero here in Roblox. How much you want to bet? All right, let's play. Russo said that this was very self-explanatory, so we're just gonna have to see about that. All right, I got, whoa, I am so, why am I so slow? Probably because I'm a noob. What's this? The arrow's pointing to it. I want it. Oh, click here to talk. It is self-explanatory. Hello, newcomer. Nice to meet you. My name is Seth. What? Just call me Seth. Yeah, we'll do that. You will need to practice and train very hard to cross from the realm of human. Oh, okay. And step to the realm of superpowers. Once you've done this, all your hard work will pay off. Well, great. Okay, Seth. We'll see about that. First, you'll always have to be careful with who you mess with. These are some great life lessons. Many of them are unimaginably strong and have a gang to back them up. This game sounds very dangerous. Also, they can declare war with you or your gang if you have one in the future. Remember that strong people will have auroras that are easy to notice. They are easy to notice. I have seen some already. Aura. Aura? Aura! I keep saying aurora. <laughs> it's, it's aura. Words are hard. But that's only a legend. Just be careful with your actions. I'm nervous now. You could also become a hero as well if you kill the bad guys. You can tell their status by looking at their name color. I can just tell by looking at you that you are very weak. Wow, Seth, that was personal. If you want to be stronger, first train your fist and body. Until you've done that, you can't train anything else. Okay, well, oh, and I get tokens. Okay, in case you don't know, tokens are very important to those training superpowers. Oop, I pressed the space bar too many times. When you have enough tokens to upgrade your stats, you can send them on new multipliers. For example, you can upgrade your first strength's XP multiplier from times one to times two. Times, okay, I didn't know this was math class. Thus, you could gain times uh, 32 fist strength in just one punch. Okay. All right. So he could tell I was super weak. So that's fun. Um, hmm. Train fist strength. Okay, let's do that. So let's equip our fist and let's just keep punching. I'm training my fists because I have to be... Whoa, look at that dude over there. He's like breakdancing. All right, he's got it. He's got it. But all of our aura colors are the same. Oh, okay. So I'm 11 out of 20, 12 out of 20, 13 out of 20. We're getting there. I'm just spamming this um, clicky button. That doesn't make any sense. All right, I did 20 out of 20. Let me get my reward. Done. Oh, I'm still... What am I... Okay, um, now let's do train body toughness. So I'm going to equip to number two, which looks like, oh, look at me. This is serious. Can I walk like this? Okay, now I'm gonna click. Oh, everybody's watching me just get like super buff right now. <laughs> I am going to be the strongest person in the world. All right, so we have, we're almost there. We're more than halfway. All right, come on, keep up with them push ups. We're going to be the strongest person in the world. Sick! Now I gotta get out of push-up modes. Please stop pushing up. There we go. Now I'm going to weasel my way back over to Seth so that he can tell me I'm weak again. Good job. Now in order to become stronger, you'll have to train your movement and speed and jump a power too. Okay. What's the point of a deadly punch if you can't get to your opponents? You can train these two skills by simply running or jumping anywhere. If you can run fast enough, you can even run on water. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm just joking. Oh, great. <laughs> or am I? Oh, okay. Now I'm very confused. Who knows? Maybe it's possible. Now go train and come back when you're done. All right. Mission completed. Oh, I have movement speed. Okay, I was looking to where what I was supposed to be doing. What's jumping? Oh, that's jumping. Can I do it at the same time? Look, we're doing it. We're killing two birds with one stone and I look ridiculous in the process, but it's working. Watch out everybody. I'm here to save the world. Oh my gosh, what is that? <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, what happened? Spawn, did I just die? What happened? I was just, oh, I entered a safe zone. I was not, <laughs> something happened. Okay, I'm not gonna cross these street lights again. Um, I'm gonna stay over here where I'm not gonna just randomly fly in the air and get killed. Was it that tornado? I think it was. How was a superhero supposed to beat up a tornado? I'm not sure, but we're gonna find out, aren't we? Okay, so um, now I gotta go back to Sath. Am I still this slow? Okay, well, one day we'll get back to Sath. Now we'll talk about the most important thing, the mind. Ooh, we can like do mind tricks or whatever it's called to um, psychic powers, that's what it's called. You probably didn't know that psychic powers are real, but they are. Okay. 
For example, with a strong enough mind, one can become invisible. You can create an illusion to attack other people's minds and soul. That also sounds very personal. You could even crush and kill your opponent by just looking at them from a far distance. Also, it can lift you up above the sky. Wait. Also, it can lift you up above the, s the ground or even <laughs> all you to fly. Oh my gosh, I'm struggling really hard with this sentence. The most simple and efficient way to train it is by meditating. If you have a hard time believing what I've said, then come back when you've at least, when you have at least 100 psychic power. That seems like a lot, and I'll tell you how to use your psychic power to become invisible. Invisibility is the easiest psychic to move. Or, whoop, I didn't finish that sentence, I'm sorry. Right now, you can learn any psychic moves as your mind is too weak. He keeps calling me weak. All right, so train psychic power. Ooh, number three. Oh, look. Look, I'm meditating. Do I have to keep clicking my meditation? Oh my gosh, we have to get to 100? I'll be right back, folks. We're only at eight. Get coffee on me. All right, six. So we got all of our um, training for our psychic powers up. Ooh, look at the moon. Wow, okay. Um, congratulations. Now you can become invisible anytime you want by pressing T. Sick, I'll have to remember that somehow. But keep in mind that you can't hide from other people with higher psychic power. Okay, well, probably everybody in this server has higher psychic power than me. Also, you will lose your invisible state when you launch any of your attack moves. Sounds fair enough. And you will not be completely invisible. Now I want to teach you a move called Energy Sphere Punch. Do you know that when you punch fast and strong enough, even the air itself will erupt into flame, just like a small explosion? The same concept applied, but in order for you to execute this move, you must have at least 1,000 fist strength. I don't think I have that. Or it'll just be a normal punch. There is a big stone just over there. Now you have enough power to use it. Did I read that right? Can I go back? Just keep punching it and you will have 1,000 fist strength, fist strength in no time. Come back and speak to me when you have enough fist strength. Okay, um, what stone was I supposed to punch? This? I'm supposed to punch this stone? Oh no, I left the safe zone. Times a that I have to get a thousand? Okay, well we're um we're almost there. People will kill you here. Okay, Martin, jeez. Um, but he told me to he told me to punch this thing, didn't he? They are not mech fans. <laughs> People are gonna kill me in this game because they're not mech fans. I asked Martin if I'm supposed to punch this. Yes, okay, well. <laughs> These non-Meg fans are gonna kill me over here, apparently. All right, we're almost there. Oh, we're at 360, 373, um, almost 400 out of 1,000. So, you know what? Not too bad. We're getting there. Oh, look, and he's punching too. We <laughs> look ridiculous. Okay, oh, thank God. All right, so I have uh, my fists are on fire. So, you know, that seems pretty heroic. Okay, Sath, what's the sitch? Let's see. Good, from now on you can press R to execute the energy sphere punch. Um, also, the size and the color of the energy sphere will sometimes change. Why is he laughing at me? Okay, so now he's gonna teach me about the damage reflection. When your body uh, toughness is higher than your opponent opponent's fist strength, this is all very hard to read for some reason, you will be able to reflect their damage back at them. But in most cases, the damage you reflect will not be fatal to the attacker because if your body toughness is just a little higher than their fifth strength, you will only reflect 10% of the damage back and the other 90% will still hurt you. So, terrific. To reflect 100% of the damage back to the attacker and receive zero damage, this sounds a lot like um, Midoriya in My Hero, you know? I don't know. You will need a body toughness 10 times higher than the opponent's fifth strength. I know that 10 times is a lot, but not easy to reflect on an opponent's damage. A very strong body is necessary to launch this move at, like at least 1,000 body toughness. Let me tell you a secret. Do you know the city port? No, I don't. You can find it by just crossing the bridge over there. He really wants me to die. 
In the city poor, there are some hidden training, blah, blah, blah. Training in there is much more effective than the push-up. But be careful, you could easily die in there. So don't push yourself too much. You can come back to me when your body is strong enough. Now go, I need the... Now go, I need to get some rest and turn on my auto training bot game pass. <gasps> There's a there's an Autobot training game pad. Mission complete. Now where's the bridge? Because I need to go. I need to go to the bridge. All right. Where's the bridge? Oh, I left the safe zone. I'm scared. Where's the bridge? Oh, there it is. Okay. This is scary. <laughs> it's like deserted and I feel like I'm just gonna die at any second. I'm just gonna get like sniped or something. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. There's a crazy tornado in the distance. There's like crazy fog in the sky. My fists are on fire. Oh, there's someone running around. Okay, um, I need to send out a PSA. Please don't kill me, please. I'm begging you. Where's the bridge again? Here it is. <laughs> All right. Here I go, off to the bridge. He said something about doing push-ups on the bridge, so. All right, um, we're almost to the bridge and then we're gonna start doing some push-ups so that, um, you know, we can get to a thousand body toughness. I, I wanna know where that um, body toughness auto flick bot thing, Game Pass is. All right, so let's go in push-up mode. I thought the bridge was supposed to give you extra. All right, guys, I'm going through here. I'm going through the menu. I'm gonna see if there's a way to cheat myself out of this. Is there a game pass for this? Let's see, hmm. Oh, I already bought this one. The plus uh, 1100, two times for VIP. I don't, hmm. I guess I'll have to just not be lazy. Oh, look, it's the next day already, hmm. All right, so I did find out how to utilize my tokens so that I can um, up my multiplier. So I'm upping my multiplier from my fist strength and my body toughness. Also, I'm gonna do it for my movement speed because, oh wait, uh, whoops. I'm running out of tokens here. Okay, um, I'm gonna do another one for, oh, okay, whoops, Never mind. that's not gonna work. How much is this one? This one's 200. Um, movement speed, let's do it for 200. Let's just do it, whatever. Also, I did realize that, also I did realize that, oh gosh, please don't kill me people. Oh no, oh no, I think people are trying to kill me. <laughs> um, I did realize that I was not supposed to do my push-ups on the bridge, I'm supposed to do it on the place after the bridge. I feel like someone's trying to kill me. Oh, that's just hi, oh look, hi. Oh, they're invisible, hi. Oh, it's on caps, whoops. I thought someone was throwing something at me, so I was like trying to scamper away. This is how I scamper away. Um, I'm just gonna go over the bridge because my push-up strength, I, um, let's see, train body toughness, that's what it is, but I'm getting it by doing push-ups, and I'm at 104 out of 1,000, so that's gonna take me a while, but I need to cross the bridge, and I need to start doing push-ups in an, uh, an area over here. <gasps> Someone just killed me. Someone just killed me. Well, that was fun. I left the safe zone. Okay, I think I can just go over here. I'm zoomed way out. Oh wait, is this water? Maybe I can't. Can I? <gasps> I can swim. There better not be sharks in here or I'm gonna cry. Are there sharks? Better not be. And I'm gonna swim my way over because I think that that might be a little bit safer. And I'm gonna go into this tunnel because I think that's where I'm supposed to go to do my push ups so that I can gain my strength faster. Um, oh, here's the city port. So I am in the right area. Is this the tunnel I'm supposed to be in? I'm not 100% sure. I heard something about lava. I gotta find where lava might be. All right, I'm not 100% positive where I'm supposed to do that. You guys can roast me in the comments if you want. Oh, I only have plus eight. Let's buy some more tokens. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to increase my multiplier for my, um, let's see. Oh, 2,000, I don't have enough. All right, well, now I have a um, 
time 16 multiplier for that. Let's just go ahead and use the rest of that for my movement speed. Now I can be super fast. All right, well, now we get time 16. That's still not gonna do a whole lot, is it? Let's see how fast I am now. Ooh, look at me, I'm so fast. I can like fight crime and everything. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Am I supposed to go in here? Ooh, look at my jump. My jump's even better too. I'm not so noobish anymore. <gasps> oh, wait, is that where I'm supposed to go? That volcano? <laughs> should we swim over to the volcano? I think we should. My swim speed is pretty nice. Look at me from afar. Oh, it's gonna take forever to get this volcano. I'm not so sure that I'm supposed to be going here, but we're gonna try it anyway, so. So I'm doing something interesting. I'm jumping and swimming and running and fist pumping and doing all that in the water so that I can gain my energy speed. I think I just went over to this volcano for absolutely no reason. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get up here. Oh, look, I'm climbing a volcano. That's um, new. That's something I've never done before. I didn't think this was gonna be possible. Oh no, oh no, let's go around here. Where do I go? Let me jump, jump. Can you please get up the rest of the volcano, please? Um, okay, so we climbed the volcano. Is this where I'm supposed to do my push-ups? Too heavy to train movement speed. Do I jump in the lava? No, I, I don't do that. I'm not that way. <laughs> Why would I think I was supposed to do that? Hey, Seth, I have a couple questions. I have some questions. I forgot where I was supposed to do my push-ups. Well, you guys, it doesn't look like I'm gonna be the best um, superpower today or ever, really. <laughs> but I tried, didn't I? Okay. Um, wow, there's some interesting symbols right here. Hmm, what does that say? Can I not read it because I'm not a smart enough superhero? I don't know. All right, guys, I guess that's just gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this episode of Superpower Training Simulator. Uh, I got a little bit far in it. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell because I do my daily uploads. Also, don't forget to like the video because it was super awesome and I'm just the coolest superhero in all of Roblox. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow.